Fish and I, what, what is it? That's it, right? Okay, amen. Let's go to Matthew 14 and verse 23. Now, just learn from Jesus. No better person to learn from Jesus. Amen? No better voice in the learning from us, amen, to, to learn from us, Jesus, amen. Once we understand now in Matthew 14. chapter 14 and verse 23, now watch this. You got to say amen. Amen. You got to say amen. God want to do some great things, but you're too low to receive what God is doing. You know what I'm saying? I say God wants to do some great things. Some greatness. Some of y'all really have the ability to do great things. But are you willing to do what it takes My to God. get there? My God. Lord, we look at certain people and we see them in a place of establishment and we say, we desire to have it. But we know what happened behind the scene. The process that takes them there. God, it's a Talk to me, somebody. Yes. So we want everything that has to be presented to us yes. without yes. fighting, yes. without yes. Amen. pursuing God. Mighty yes. God, it can't happen. It didn't happen like that. That's it didn't right. happen like that. Go ahead, read happen. what Jesus said. And he, and he took the cup. Uh huh. And when he had given thanks. Uh -huh. Amen. Where we are? Matthew oh, chapter that's fourteen. Not, that's Verse 23. Amen. Amen. Matthew 14, verse 23. Go ahead. And when he had sent the multitude away. When he had sent the multitude away. The church of God. Hear me today. Say, I hear you. I hear you. Not everybody can go where you're going. Amen. My God. My God. See, you trying to carry the crowd with you. But the crowd is not willing to go where you're going. That's some of our problem. That's why we make no, 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 we, we don't elevate because we try to get everybody with us. And you go an extra measure to try to make someone change their mind. And when their mind already make up. And Jesus sent the multitudes away. Away. There's some folks you just have to send away. Amen. Amen. You say amen. 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 Some folks Jesus. you have just to send away. My God. Talk to me. Jesus. The multitudes was only there for a particular season. Yes. You have to know that when some folks season then ready expired. My God. You gonna have to know when some season has been expired. That's right. So when folk season then expired, and you see them wanna go and you wanna keep them, it's dangerous. Amen. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. Because their assignment has been completed, and when you keep them, they will keep you in the valley. Come on, somebody. Amen, amen. And sooner or later, there becomes a thorn in your flesh. Oh, yes, sir. Yes. That, that you try to move to another dimension, but they always have the access to pull you back. Hey, hallelujah. hallelujah. My God. Mighty God. Holy Jesus. Because so, a, a, a lot of us in here, we think because we love God and God, we are the, everybody out of love us and follow us. No, 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 no. no, no, no. When Jesus was here, Amen. they hate him. Amen. Not everybody followed him. Amen. Not everybody was acceptable about the, the message that he was preaching. Jesus. So now we want everybody to be drawn to us. Oh Who is you? Right. Talk to me, somebody. Talk to me, talk to me. Amen. Amen. Who is you that you want everybody to be drawn to you? No, they need to be drawn to Christ. Amen. Not you. Amen. And some folks, you got to say, you know what? I'm going to another dimension and this conversation is too low for me. Cut them off. Got to cut them off and bring with them and love them. Amen. Amen. You can't allow them to suck you dry and 
keep you in the valley. That's Some true. people don't want to be saved. That's Why are you wasting your time? That's right. Jesus. Why are you wasting your time trying like you like they're gonna change their mind because you keep on talking? Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> their mind is they're gonna have to make up their mind. Amen. And Jesus sent them out to do this away, and what happened? And he went up into the mountain of heart. And he went up into what? The mountain of And he went up to now watch it now why Jesus could not pray from the dimension where he was somebody says too low talk to me too low some of you are praying from low dimension that's why you get no answer you're too low you can't see you can't hear clearly can't see clearly because you're too low and the only thing you can see is the negative situation oh that you're going through. Talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. And that's why, that's why, that's why, when you open up your mouth, you talk about what you're going through. And not where you're going. Jesus. Yeah, because it is the, it is the dimension. Okay. My God. Okay. You only can be effective according to the dimension that you are by. You see what I'm saying? Amen. Two things happen. When you're in a dimension too long. Because everything God, God created, God gave life. And life brings movement. Anything that doesn't move, dies. You can be in a dimension too long until you die. Until the presence of God is no longer there. Talk to me somebody. Until God is somewhere over there. And you still right here waiting on God. It is like. It's like the brook that God instruct Elijah. When, when the brook dried out. It was, it was an indication that Elijah needed to go higher. Talk to me. 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 Anytime the system doesn't stop offering the things that you need. It means that you need to go higher. To another system. Jesus. Because this system, as sun is caused, time has expired. My God. Stop this dealing with expired time and go up. My man. I would say, if one person can get this today, I can't be your come out, your come out transformed. Because most of the things that that church folks deals with is expired time. Amen. Hallelujah. Wasting time on a system with being expired a long time ago. How in the world again you yield for the fruit when the time for the fruit is then past? <laughs> Jesus. Talk to me, somebody. You missed your season. So don't stay there until it come back. You need to go up higher. And meet another season. You only say that. You see what I'm saying? And so now Jesus went up into the mountain, into the mountain and apart to pray. The what? To pray. His mission was to pray. to pray. He went up in a high mountain because when you deal with mountain, mountain is high. Now follow me. Mountain is high. And in those days, God used to dwell on mountains. Yes. And there was particular mountains that God used to dwell, where the glory of God would, would come. There was the presence of God. So the closer you get up, and the higher you get on the mountain, the closer you come to God. Talk to me, 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 because as long as I stay low, then I cannot comprehend what God is saying. Hey, good Jesus, I wish somebody can get this. As long as you are low, you can't comprehend what he's saying, even though he's still saying something. Because the Bible says the Spirit, amen, the Spirit of God, amen, ever lived to make intercession for them that love him. So he never stopped praying for you, but you didn't stop hearing it. Because it's the dimension that you are in. It's too low. Somebody says it's too low. You're wasting time. You're complaining too much. 
And that's what happened to the children of Israelites. You know when the children of Israelites went into a certain dimension, right? And the Bible says when they begin to doubt God and amen. And because of Egypt was still in their heart, they was not be able to really go into the promised land, even though they hear it. Even though Moses teach them about the promised land, but they never seen it. They never seen it for themselves. And so now their heart was not fixed on the promised land. Their heart was still fixed on Egypt. I want to talk to some of y'all. Some of y'all are still in the church of God, but your heart is still fixed on Egypt. I can do more because all you're thinking about Egypt, the worldly things, the worldly things, the world. Oh, if I get this, if I was there, yeah, if you there, there. And some of y'all was in the world by now, you've probably been in funeral and gone. Hallelujah! Jesus! You've probably been rotten by now. Yeah! Some of y'all have been that ready dust. Amen! Because y'all would have been dead. And so don't let the devil fool you to say, well, it's better for you if it's an issue in the world. You'll have this and have this. No, you will not. Are you out? Who say you have been around that long to have this? Amen. Amen. High five somebody say, don't let Satan fool you. Don't let Satan fool you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. With false hope. With false hope. False possession. Amen. False promise. Talk to me, somebody. Amen. 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 Somebody say go high. Go high. Go high. Say go high. Go high. See, you're too low. You're too low. You're complaining too much. You're complaining too much. And the indication. It's an indication. Because you're too low. You're too low. Say you're too low. Glory you're be to God. Low. Hallelujah. Uh huh. Uh huh. When a person is walking with the Lord, yes. you hear them complain. Amen. Yes. You hear them saying words like this. My God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that I shall ask or think. Because it is the dimension that they are in. You can't talk like that and be effective in the valley. Go ahead. Too low. Go ahead. And when the evening was come, uh -huh. He was there alone. And when the evening was come, he was there alone. Did he have anybody? Alone. See, the problem with folks is so afraid to be alone. Amen. Sometimes you got to get alone in order to hear from the Lord. Yeah. Sometimes you have to isolate yourself from Amen. everybody to hear. Amen. That's why some of y'all in heaven alone. You're going to bring everybody with you. Yeah. Jesus, who was God in flesh, went a particular mountain and a particular place and he was alone. Amen. The Bible says he was alone. Why? Because now he can pray effectively Amen. without distraction. Talk to me somebody. Amen. 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 He was alone. Let's go. The first Kings, the 18th chapter and the 42 voice. First Kings, the 18th chapter and the 42 voice. Jesus of God, if you get this today, you'll never be the same. Yeah, I'm telling you, if you if you if you hear what thus says the Lord, I'm telling you, you'll never be the same. If you get in a place where you become fruitful, where God, amen, a place, a meeting place where God always meet. Where you don't have to worry about how this situation is going to end. You'll know the ending from the beginning. My God. Amen. First Kings. Amen. First Kings. Chapter 18, verse 42. Go ahead, sis. 18 and 42 reads, uh -huh. So Ahab went in to eat to went drink. Up. Uh -huh. Went up to eat and drink. So Ahab went up? Went up. Where he went? Up. Someone thinks it's time to go up. It's time to go up. He didn't went down. He went up. Why the church trying to go down? Oh, Jesus. My God. When the church need to go up? Up, up. That's why you ain't getting no different result. Because you're down. You're always trying to go down. Right and going up. You're too low. Come on, somebody. You're too low. You're too low. You're too low. You need to go up higher. Amen? Because Satan have devices. He have devices. And these devices, these devices that he have only are effective is when you're low. 
Amen.